Hello, this is Cactus Jim. This is video number two of my toilet talks. Uh, yes, that's right. I'm sitting uh, on the toilet in my bathroom. And, uh, you know, I just had a couple of drinks. And I had some, uh, some of these snacks. Yeah, they're actually, they sound uh, sort of disgusting, but they're really pretty good. So here I sit, and you'll uh, take note of the fact that I'm in the bathroom with a rifle. And it's an AR-15 rifle. And I actually have an extra magazine with 30 rounds in it. And there's 30 rounds in the magazine and the gun, so I have 60 rounds to defend myself in the bathroom. From what, you ask? That's a good question. Um, I don't really need this much firepower for the bathroom, of course. And I don't always have this gun in here, but a person is most vulnerable in the bathroom, especially sitting on the throne. Well, what are you going to do if uh, you hear the door splinter open and uh, people breaking into your house? What are you going to do? Uh, you're fucked. But not if you have this. Okay? They'll probably head right through the front door and they're going to pass the bathroom. They're moving quickly, I would say, in uh, three to four seconds. Pick up the gun chamber around and start firing right through the door and uh, you know hope that you get them so I'll just make a quick plug for Sarco and Cooper Incorporated in Easton Pennsylvania uh, this is our t-shirt world's largest supplier of guns gun parts and accessories um, and that's where I bought this uh, AR-15 from them about a year ago I've had guns my whole life, even as a teenager. Um, you know, I bought them illegally uh, from time to time. Back then, and gun dealers would sell them to you if you just signed a paper saying you were 21 or some bullshit. But I've never killed anybody. And, uh, you know, I like to shoot the guns, go out in the desert, shoot at coconuts and watermelon and cantaloupes and stuff like that. So why do I have these guns? Uh, it's really the gun culture. I mean, just look at the movies, TV shows, video games. It all began with Wild Bill Cody, Buffalo Bill. And with his Wild West shows, which were totally bogus, but he made a big point of informing the public that, a, that guns really won the West and that uh, guns are an important feature in American history and so forth and so on. So that was around the turn of the century, just about the time Hollywood was starting with movies and uh, Hollywood picked up on that, started making uh, movies about cowboys and shooting uh, bad guys and Indians and uh, it, it grew from there. I mean, it really grew from, from the entertainment industry to a large extent. And uh, so that's why there's like 300 million guns in the uh, hands of Americans. That's true, it's not bullshit. So you, you can check the facts yourself. So, oh, and then in the 1920s, you know, uh, Thompson machine guns came out. Um, and before 1934, you could actually walk into a hardware store and purchase a functioning fully automatic, not semi-automatic, fully automatic machine gun, submachine gun. In 1934, um, based on so much gangster violence in the 20s and 30s, federal law was passed uh, limiting access to automatic weapons and machine guns. So that was the end of the good old days. But wouldn't it be cool to walk into your local hardware store and buy a Thompson submachine gun. Uh, I think that would be cool. So I forget what the point of this video is, but uh, I'm Cactus Jim. I live in southern Arizona, and um, I'll be making more of these 
Toilet Talks. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.